Marianer Rodriguez comes from a family of career drivers. Her grandfather was a truck driver and her father drove a city bus. As a child, I always loved transportation and I was always more interested in large cargo trucks. Five months ago, Rodriguez became the first female driver in Colombian company Colfo Norte's Libertadores bus line. For almost 60 years, these buses that connect Colombia's municipalities had only male drivers. In Colombia, professional female drivers are not common. Here in the capital city, Bogota, women make up less than one and a half percent of the nearly 25,000 strong public bus driver force. The operator, Transmilenio, says it's aware of the imbalance and is working to attract more women to its ranks. Trying to get male colleagues' acceptance has been the biggest challenge. Having the men understand that I'm not looking to be the same as them. I just want to be another colleague, doing our same job, perhaps differently in certain ways. Rodriguez's biggest fear was that riders would not accept her. She had been used to the solitary life that came with driving cargo trucks for seven years. Now passenger reactions and interactions are what she most enjoys. No. This is such a pleasant surprise. This is the first time I've seen a woman driving one of these buses. And I think it's great that a company is giving women this opportunity. Mi nombre es Marian Rodríguez, soy la conductora que los transportará el día de hoy en el vehículo 131. Rodríguez hopes she can one day hold a leadership position in the transportation services sector so she can help encourage other women to fulfill their goals. It was hard. I didn't have a family that owned a transportation company, nor did I have my own truck. I had to push through, study and stay focused on my goals, which is why I believe you can also do it if you put your mind to it. Michelle Vegas, CGTN, Bogota.